Charm GUI users often need to read a structure containing ligands or other heterogen molecules. Depending on the ligand and the quality of the PDB structure, one of several different methods will be needed to successfully read the structure. This video will demonstrate a general strategy for reading proteins with ligand molecules that should work in most cases. The first PDB structure we'll look at is 186L. 186L is a lysozyme protein in complex with N-butylbenzene, 2-hydroxyethyl disulfide, chloride ions, and crystal water. Notice that the hydrogen atoms are missing, which is typical of structures determined through X-ray diffraction. To begin, go to the front page of PDB Reader. Type 186L and click Next. We're going to try modeling the whole structure, so click all of the checkboxes. On the Step 2 page, we are shown options for structure manipulation and ligand reading. Notice that the crystal water and chlorine ions do not show up as they are handled automatically by Charm GUI. We're left with hydroxyl disulfide and N-butylbenzene ligands. The general strategy we'll follow is this. First, we'll run CSML search to see if the molecule has been parameterized in the Charm force field. If that fails, we can check to see if the molecule's full coordinates are present on our CSB. If not, then we can try using the coordinates in the PDB file. And if all those fail, we can try to generate the topology and parameters in ligand reader and modeler. Let's try this strategy on the first ligand, HED. When we click CSML search, we get a new window. After some time, it tells us that the residue does not exist in the charm force field. Later in this video, we'll show what happens when we click the option to parameterize ligand force field using the PDB coordinates. However, since we know the correct structure exists on RCSB, we'll choose the option to generate the topology and parameters using CGenFF using the coordinates in the SDF file from RCSB. This is the default, so we'll leave it selected and move on to the next molecule. For N4B, click CSML search. This molecule has already been parameterized, and its name in the charm force field is BBEN. To decide whether this is actually the molecule we want to use, we should click the molecule name to visualize it in another window. If we want to modify this molecule, we'll need to use ligand reader and modeler, and in a later video we'll show how to do this. But for now, select BBEN and click Apply. There are no more ligands to read, so click the Next button to generate the full PDB. When it finishes, you should view the structure to make sure it is correct. Notice that all of the hydrogen atoms that were previously missing are now explicitly modeled. Next, we'll see what to do when the approach we tried fails. For this, we'll use a structure that we modified from PDB ID 2OI0. The original structure contains a protein and complex with a drug molecule. In our experiments, we generated several test drug molecules and performed docking simulations with them. One of the structures we used is contained in 2OI0 modified.pdb which you can obtain by clicking on the link in the transcript below. The protein structure is the same, but the drug molecule has slightly different functional groups. Start by uploading the file, which is in PDB format, and click Next. The drug molecule is detected, and its residue name in the PDB file is the generic name LIG for ligand. Select it and click Next. When we click CSML search, we are told that the residue does not exist in the charm force field. As far as we know, the molecule also does not exist in the RCSB ligand database. Instead, we'll choose the option to parameterize the ligand using the PDB coordinates. The molecule viewer shows us the result of this parameterization. Pay particular attention to the number and location of hydrogen atoms. If this is not the structure we want, then we'll need to use ligand reader and modeler to generate the correct structure. In this case, the generated structure is correct, so we'll click the Next button to keep it. This will select the CGenFF option using the PDB coordinates. Click Next to generate the full PDB structure, and when it finishes, make sure to view the structure.